Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today we're going to be talking about UST, Luna Classic and Terra 2.0. If you have not been paying attention to the chart, it's still looking very positive on the super trend. We're looking really good, but right now we are sitting on a very crucial support. If we do decide to break through it, there could be some pullbacks, so be very careful. Also, Binance made their announcement with the notice on how they're going to be implementing the 1.2% burn rate and the 20th of September. There is a lot to talk about today. Before we get into all of that, if you're here for the first time, you do want to stay up to date with everything to do with Luna, I highly recommend you scroll down, tap the red subscribe button, while you're there, slap a like on the video, it is completely free to do so. It would just help the YouTube algorithm push the video out to more people. More people see the incredible side of Luna, they decide to buy into it, it starts backing up, and all of us make a lot of profit so make sure you go down and slap a like on it other than that let's get straight into it so to begin with today's video first of all i just want to talk to you guys about the chart the chart is starting to look extremely healthy but before we talk about the trend and stuff i want to talk to you about a very important news that has dropped which is the crypto exchange a bit if you have not heard of it it has been quite huge in south korea and also it has been extremely important when it comes to the lunar classic whole of the story. Upbit holds a special meeting on Terra Classic Luna. South Korean top crypto exchange Upbit held a meeting to decide whether to refund the transaction fees on Terra Classic to users or not. Upbit earlier May announced to return the commission and transaction fee in comparison for the investors loss caused by the Terra Classic crisis. The transaction fee accounted for nearly 7.5 million dollars now this is going to be a very important meeting because you guys know luna classic right now is doing very well and they decided to make this announcement in may when they thought that luna classic is not going to make any sort of recovery so the reason for this meeting is is everyone starting to make a little bit of money back if that's the case is it really fair for us to actually go ahead and give our transaction money back which is the money we currently earn Earned. A bit held a meeting and right now that is being still decided if it does decide to go through obviously a lot of people are going to be happy and on the other hand if it doesn't go through I don't think a lot of people mind because a lot of people are so focused on the Luna Classic pump. Another thing I want to show you guys on the chart is if you guys do not know, obviously everyone knows the chart is in a very healthy spot right now and it's showing a very good uptrend. Now in the middle when the whole of the crypto market did actually decide to take a pump or dump, it did decide to come back which was on the 7th about 48 hours ago. That's when the super trend actually did decide to flip over. But after that a lot of whales and retail investors decided to buy in on that dump and then the pullback was turned into another rally forward now keep in mind right now we are on a very crucial point as we're getting closer and closer for the proposal to go through which is the 1.2 percent burn you guys know whenever there's rumors a lot of people will decide to buy in when the news drops there is usually a lot of sell-off and a strong pullback so be very careful if you guys are leverage trading what i'm trying to say is as you can see there are some people that are starting to to take very heavy profits that could mean that in the near future we might be able to see a lot more profit taking but right now the trend just seems to be climbing up and up it's starting to eat up as much more zeros as possible if it just decides to double from here that will be removing another zero and from there if it does decide to go up another 10x we're going to be back up to one cent which will be a huge recovery for Luna classic and i know a lot of you guys are going to be extremely happy the reason that Luna Classic chart is looking so healthy is as you guys can see on the RSI line it does decide to break out but it doesn't go super high it actually decides to make back in the middle as long as it stays in the middle there is a lot of recovery chance and it can actually go extremely explosive as a lot of people will try to go ahead and just hold it off and one thing I can say for a fact is as long as the RSI line stays in the middle zone, there is a huge recovery potential. If it goes into the overbought zone, a lot of people will decide to take profit and that will be not a good idea. Another thing which is really extremely healthy is the trading volume has officially crossed the market cap of Terra Classic and also for the people who are not paying attention, rank 
of Terra Classic for the market cap is in nearly top 25 in all of the old coins. That includes Bitcoin, Ethereum, you name it, everything is included in that. And right now we're making it back into the top 25. The trading volume to the market cap ratio is sitting close to 1.17% just shows how many people are keeping their eye out on Luna Classic right now and it is doing some crazy numbers. Another thing which in my opinion is slightly holding back Luna Classic is UST. If you guys have not been paying attention, the trading volume is doing really well but on the other hand, UST, the price is not climbing up and if you do not know, Terra Classic and also UST are interlinked and if one of them doesn't decide to make a huge recovery, the other one will suffer. I'm not saying Luna Classic will decide to pull back just because of USD but if USD decides to go ahead and start pumping it's going to have a very positive impact as well and finally Terra 2.0 it's just not doing much it's just stable and staying there another thing is Binance made the announcement that they will be helping out the Terra community has passed the proposal which is introduces a 1.2% tax burn on chain transaction of Luna Classic and USD on the Terra Classic network Binance will review and emit the the minimum withdrawal amount, maximum withdrawal amount, and withdrawal fee for Luna Classic and UST. Now, once this is implemented, you guys know how much transactions go through Binance. It is the largest trading platform when it comes to cryptocurrencies. And when the block is hit at this point, which will be close to the 20th of September, it will go live. And once it goes live, they will be doing everything for the deposit and withdrawals inside of Binance as well great news for a lot of people because i know a lot of you guys wanted to see this announcement from binance as soon as possible another thing which is really interesting is the leading exchanges kucoin and GitIO are going to be supporting 1.2 percent tax burn rate i mean at the moment everything is going to be supporting it because now the proposal has gone through very well and a lot of people are taking it in the positive way so if every exchange doesn't support it let's just say they're going to be losing a lot of customers because there is a lot of people which are backing up Terra Classic right now. Another thing which is starting to grow as we talk is as you guys can see the staked amount. 7.7% of the total supply has been staked. This is really good because those people most likely are not going to be taking profit. They're holding long term and over time that's going to be really good because they will be able to help push up the price as they will not be able to just take profit and push it down. Another thing about the proposal is this article that was posted on the 1st of September. I feel like a lot of people didn't actually pay attention to this as this was actually giving some very crucial information. First of all, how is this taxation going to help? So pros, proof of community driven governance, deflationary pressure on both Luna and also UST, potential short term catalyst, and also CEX will not consider a burn off chain. And the cons are taxes are potentially demeritable to the long term economy. That's true. Existing D apps that do not account for tax will be unsupported. No guarantee that CXS will burn off chain tax may push remaining liquidity off the chain to cex and potential deterrent i mean yes there are some cons but keep in mind right now it's still looking like it's going to be doing very well as soon as the block height is hit that will be close to the 20th of september it's not exact we will be able to see a big recovery and also everything being pushed forward another thing is this article that was actually posted by the official terra Twitter page and if you do actually decide to look through it they talk about how the ecosystem has had such a good let's just say updates in August they've done a lot of leap wallet they've done a lot of things to the whole of the system trying to make sure that it is actually up to date and is able to help out when everything is doing well but other than that I hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you did drop a like on it if you're new to the channel do you want to stay up to date with everything subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one I'm out peace